Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy AB. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been well over a week since I last uploaded to the channel and well over two weeks since I made any Toy Story related content. I am really sorry for my overall inactivity on the channel. I've just been bombarded with personal stuff going on in my life and work related stuff. But now I'm back and I'm going to try to get back on the grind for making more Toy Story videos. And today we are going to be doing a review of the Stars and Stripes Woody. Here he is in all his glory, the Stars and Stripes Woody. It took me a bit of a while to hunt him down, and when I finally found one for an agreeable price, it took me an extra week for the delivery because he came from all the way in Japan. For a little background on this toy, the Stars and Stripes Woody alongside the Stars and Stripes Buzz were both released back in 2002. Now they were still around the parks when I was a little older, close to 2008 I believe, because I remember getting the Stars and Stripes Buzz at the Disney parks when I was little. Now for a closer look at the Woody doll, here are some differences that he has to the 1995 Woody doll. Here he has pure golden buttons right here on his shirt, and on his cuffs of his shirt he has these little star buttons. And his belt buckle is pretty different than the one that we know him having. This has an eagle and some stars on it. Now I did get a little comment from someone on YouTube on my community post who told me to be careful with the belt buckle because it can easily break is what he told me. Now to completely look at the differences between the 1995 Woody doll I got and the Stars and Stripes Woody doll. Of course, he has a different pattern shirt to match the American flag along with a vest with uh, stars on it that actually have this kind of raised material which is actually pretty nice. I do believe the uh, holster is the same. If I'm not mistaken, this one's actually probably a little darker and shade of brown. He has wires in his arms. Uh, they both have open fingered hands right here. To me, the jeans seem a little different. I mean, of course he has uh, metal wires in his arms and his legs, and this one doesn't, but the coloring and the sort of pattern looks slightly different on the jeans. They have different sizes on the pull string rings. Their buttons and the badge are fastened on differently. I feel like these are fastened on more securely. The 1995 Woody doll has a different looking badge than the Stars and Stripes Woody. The bandanas are different. He's got the regular red one from the movie and this one's got the stars one and it's blue. The boots on the 1995 doll compared to the Stars and Stripes doll are pretty different with shading and uh, molding of the spurs. Both of them have the same kind of head mold, or at the very least, very similar head molds, and their hats are practically nearly identical. And apart from the uh, different belt buckle, there's the difference here. He's got like a cow there, while he's got the eagle there to represent USA. Now when it comes to their voice box phrases, they're practically the same in just every single way. Just like this, guys. There's a snake in my boat. Howdy, partner. My name's Woody. You're my favorite deputy. Yeehaw, cowboy. There's a snake in my boat. And here is Stars and Stripes Woody standing side by side to his Stars and Stripes counterpart, Buzz. Now, they both kind of take form and resemblance of their 1995 predecessor models, but Buzz has a pretty big difference in his voice box here, and laser. I am Buzz Lightyear, member of the Universe Protection Unit. I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion from the evil Emperor Zerg. I am Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, who infinity and beyond. Yeah, Buzz has a couple new phrases for his Stars and Stripes version, while Woody basically has all the same phrases as his 1995 counterpart. As you guys know, I do prefer Woody over Buzz, but in this case for the Stars and Stripes line here, I'm gonna have to say I like the Buzz better because he has a bunch of brand new features and he they went a whole they went all out there for the creativity of the American flag look on him, which is what I really like. Now, I'm not saying that Woody's is not good, but I really do like Buzz's. I will say, I do love the way they are standing next to each other. It gives off a really, really nice look. In case you guys are wondering, this is the box that Stars and Stripes Woody came in, right here. 
And here's Buzz's, which I actually like better because it goes more with the theme of the patriotic Stars and Stripes look, which is what I really love about this box that he came in. All right, guys, you have officially made it to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe and turn on notification bell so you don't miss a single video. This has been your boy, A.B., out. Peace out, Rainbow Trout.